Welcome to the MPC Lounge. In this workflow tutorial, we're going to look at the brand new update for MPC Live NX 2.6. This is bringing Step and Grid Automation, Ableton Live, .als Export Mode, 8 submix outputs, and additional workflow enhancements. So now let's have a look at Step Automation first. First thing I'm going to do is solo my synth, and this is going to be the sound we're going to work with. Now let's head over to our step sequencer. Now as soon as we select this, it will default on velocity. Now to change this, we simply double tap the area on our touch UI, and now we can add the parameters that we want to automate. So I go into tube synth, and here's a list of all the parameters we can choose from. So I'm gonna start with a low pass filter cutoff, and now I can draw in into my step sequencer and add my automation. So as I move through the bars, I'm just entering the value of the amount of automation I want to apply to my track. We can also enter values by using our presets, which will enter different types of shapes directly into the step sequencer. We can also nudge these left and right, or we can increase and decrease the overall values. We can also enter values into our step sequencer by using our cue links. Now as we move these dials, you will see each of the values changing on each step, which is tied to each cue link. Now to erase automation is very straightforward. Hold down shift and we can clear by the bar. Now, if you want to erase the entire automation, simply again, hold down shift and press clear. Now all the automation on the selected parameter is erased. Now to use step automation to automate our effects is very straightforward. Let's select an effect. Now, as you can see, we have a new UI which categorizes our effects types. So let's select an air reverb. Now we select this and we are going to automate the mix wet and dry signal. So I now go into my step sequencer and I go up to my parameter select, add new, go to the plugin and there you see insert air reverb. So I scroll down to the mix and now I can enter my values and apply how much reverb I want on each one of my bars. Now let's bring this in with our track. Now let's navigate to our grid automation. This is where we can see our chords that we've played and I can now open up and see all of my automation. So again, it defaults on velocity and if we double tap or use our data wheel, we can now scroll through all of the automation that we've already added. We can also use our toolbar to edit all of the parameters that we've added to our automation. And to erase automation, simply use the rubber tool. Or you can take the pencil tool and just simply draw over the automation that you've already entered. We've also added in 2.6 Ableton Live Set Export, which allows you to take your track and export it directly into Ableton Live. Now let's use a project that we've got loaded. Now I've already used the explode feature on MPC, which has split up all of my drums onto separate channels. I now navigate to my folder and now you'll see ALS export. So we select this and now it gives us the option to export audio or MIDI. So, and we can also include the program volume and panning settings or we can include or bypass the effects. Set the bit rate and then we give it a file name so we'll go ALS beat, and then we simply press do it. Once we do that, it will now render out all of the different passes, which we can now bring directly into Ableton so you can continue your project. So another feature that we've added is to our mixer. So if we go over to our channel mixer, and now we navigate over to submixes. So we've added eight submix groups to the MPC mixer in standalone. So you can now add effects onto each one of the submixes, and this will enable you to route your pads or your channels or your tracks directly to the submix. So if we go into our time correction, you will now see that we've added the ability to quantize all tracks. 
We've also updated the user interface on MPC. So if you go to menu, you will now see completely new icons representing each feature. We've also added effects categories. So now when you're browsing your effects, you can see all the different types of effect types instantly, such as reverb delays, dynamics, EQ and filters. So we can go down and let's pull up one of our effects, PEQ, and this makes it a very fast and tactical way to browse your effects. Now under the vintage effects emulations, we've added the iconic hardware of the MPC 3000, and we've also done the same for the 60 and the SP 1200. Now in sample record mode, after recording a sample, the keep or discard sample pop-up now also has F keys to save or edit your sample. Thanks for watching the 2.6 update overview for MPC Live and X.